You okay. have your heart. What was you that? Have, you have your heart, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm going to recap it real quick. Okay. So if you get a little chunk of your heart and you blow it up, uh -huh. it's a bunch of heart cells, a bunch of myocytes that are hooked up together. And those myocytes are supposed to be contracting and all that stuff so your heart could pump. Can we agree on that? Yes, sir. Okay. So these are all your myo your cardio myocytes. And then these little lines, it's because they're straight. It's just understand that's why I'm drawing those. Because all this, so you can just know that they're muscle cells that are straight, okay? Um, that's not something that you really need to know, but just understand that's what I'm doing. That's what those lines represent, in case you're wondering what the hell they mean. The yeah, little yeah. circle in the middle is a nucleus. Okay. And the nucleus, of course, is the brain of all cells that allow it to perform its function. So when we are breathing, when we have good core, when the coronary arteries are doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're patent, what they're doing is they're sending blood supply, healthy blood supply, these RBCs, right? All these little circles represent RBCs. And they're taking their oxygen and they're bringing it inside of all the cells. So all the cells can function just fine. Does that make sense, man? Oh, those red blood cells, those one in the two will go to the... Yeah, the blood cells, they pass through, uh, they, 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 they dump oxygen inside the cells. So that the heart can constrict and... Contract. Okay. Contract. Let me write it right here. So the heart can contract, meaning so it can pump. And so the heart can send blood to all over the body. But right now the issue is... Um, I want to describe to you or explain to you how the heart muscle receives its energy and it receives it by transportation of oxygen that the red blood cells carry out. Red blood cells transport oxygen everywhere. But right now I'm talking about how they're supposed to transport blood to the heart muscles, the cardiomyocytes. Does that make sense? Right. And so when you have a person that has a poor diet, when their diet's high in cholesterol, high in fat, high in fat, mm -hmm. this is what ends up happening. You develop all this plaque buildup inside the blood vessel wall, and that restricts the flow of blood. That decreases patency. Does that make sense? This happened to my uncle back home in Fiji. So oh, damn. To, really? So you had to go to India to uh, get the surgery. To get the surgery. So, okay, good. So you understand that, right? Uh huh. So when there's, um, Oh, and by the way, this uh, plaque buildup is known as atherosclerosis. And that's for the plaque inside, the, inside yeah. those vessels? That's the plaque buildup inside the blood vessels, yeah. You also have something called arterial sclerosis. And that's the hardening of the arteries caused by the, the plaque. Hardening, the plaque that's yellow turned hard, or is that the vessel? Yeah, the because the yellow is fat, it, it's solid inside the blood vessels. It makes the blood vessels hard. And that causes hypertension because the blood vessels are supposed to be elastic. They're supposed to stretch out. But with all that plaque buildup, with all that atherosclerosis, the blood vessels get really hard. They develop arterial sclerosis. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense, man? Yes, sir. So, so in we the have beginning is... The atherosclerosis. Yeah, atherosclerosis. You don't have to really don't don't break your head over this. Just be able to recognize the the words athero and arteriosclerosis as a consequence of a lot of plaque. The plaque. Okay. Yeah, the okay. plaque. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So let's 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 review a couple of things. So far, I need you to understand that the coronary arteries supply oxygen to cardio myocytes what are cardio myocytes bro uh, those were uh, heart muscle cells good 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 now because of um of some issues like atherosclerosis and arterial sclerosis it decreases or decreased patency. What does that mean? 
So it gets like harder for the blood to go through the vessels. That's correct. That is correct, man. That's correct. I get excited, bro. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that 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 limits the blood supply to the heart, right? So what ends up happening because of that is they'll have um, what we call ischemia. What does ischemia mean? Ischemia. Uh huh. Um. I don't know. Is he... Oh, ischemia is lack of oxygen. Oh, oh, yes, yes, it's lack of oxygen in the tissue. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Lack of oxygen to the tissues. And that lack of oxygen to the tissues, bro, it's going to cause pain. To be specific, it's going to cause chest pain, which we know as what? What's, it, what's chest pain called? Angina. 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 Does that make sense, bro? Yes, sir. And understand this is what happens when you have a diet that's high in cholesterol, high in um, fried foods, and all the stuff that we love that tastes really good. It's bad for us because it contributes to this whole atherosclerosis. That's the problem. So it causes ischemia because the blood can't get to the to the heart cells. When we're when we're when the blood's pumping this way, you see how the space is very limited. So it can't really get to the heart muscles and the heart muscles are deprived of oxygen. They, they become ischemic and that causes chest pain or angina. So if that is the coronary artery, those, the, the vein. Uh-huh. Arteries, not vein, arteries. Artery, okay. It uh -huh. goes, um, get filled up with that plaque and it starts to like give it like more uh, energy for the blood to push. Uh-huh. There's like, and then, can I, I lost my train of thought. Continue, I'm sorry. Yeah. Continue. Oh, okay. So, um, no, what you were saying was correct, man. Uh, if that plaque buildup increases, if you continue to, um, uh, you know who Lloyd Banks is? Lloyd Banks, no. Sorry. Bro, you gotta listen to Lloyd Banks, man. You gotta listen to Lloyd Banks, Lloyd I Banks. I only listen to NPEX. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Lloyd Banks, well, he's from G Unit. You don't remember L Lloyd Banks? Nah, man, I'm sorry. Okay, so look, look, look. He has a, a rap song where he's dissing Fat Joe. Okay? okay. I think it's Fat Joe. He says, I thought about getting, he goes, I thought about getting the fat N word clapped. Mm -hmm. What, what does clap mean? Like beating up or like shot or shot. something. Yeah. Because I, I, I thought, I thought, I, I thought about getting the fat boy, the fat getting clapped. But why when he's one McDonald's or one cheeseburger, I forgot what he says, away from a heart attack. What does that mean, man? Because the burger is full of fat and like the cholesterol. Uh, Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Like, stop so he heart. said, he yeah, man. Much. Lloyd Banks was dissing Fat Joe, and he's like, I thought about getting that fat and uh, clap, but why when he's a cheeseburger away from a heart attack? So it's That's like, you're hard. Man, it's hard, right? It's hard. <laughs> so That's my hard. point is, man, my point is this. You have to understand that the cheeseburger contains a lot of cholesterol. That cholesterol contributes to atherosclerosis, which makes the blood vessels very hard arteriosclerosis when the blood vessels get hard that's a problem because now the blood cannot pass through seamless seamless meaning that it's very difficult for the blood to pass on through because the blood vessels they're supposed to push the blood through you know they're supposed to be elastic they're supposed to expand and, and recoil and contract but right now so, that's not happening so when that happens the the clog with the the plaque uh-huh like the surgery is the only way to like bypass it or like, can you, you can do it through, you can do it through diet. You have to eliminate a lot of cholesterol from your diet. Not all, a lot, like but all then, of it. But then you also said that it also gets sticking up with the, with the color, color the, 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 what, say that again. So the first one is the, and, and the atherosclerosis, atherosclerosis. And then the second one is the atherosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis. All right. What was that one more time? Arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis. Okay. 
Yeah. So the, like you said, it gets hard. And how do you bypass that then? So the so thing hard. is, you need to you need to change your diet. Vegetables contain a lot of nitrogen, a lot of nitrates, and that expands the blood vessels. So we have to limit the cholesterol intake and increase foods that will remove the plaque buildup from the blood vessels, like like good fat, like avocados, chia seeds, things like that. However, that takes a long time, bro. How many people do you know that they're going to change the way that they eat? None. They go back None. to the, they go so, back to the That's correct. So because of that, bro, you have to understand that they will be prompted to have some type of surgical procedure, which is the PTCA that I was talking about right now. But any questions on this so far? So the first one is coronary artery supplies oxygen to yes, sir. cardiomyositis, so the cells, the heart muscle cells, right? For the yes, cardiac. sir. And then the atro and atherosclerosis is decreased pathway since the pathway is getting clogged with the, the plaque. Yes, sir. And then the ischemia is low tissue, I mean, low oxygen in the tissue, so that causes sure. pain. So that yes, gives sir. you the chest pain. Does Which that, is called? Go ahead. Which is called what? What's that chest pain called? Angina. Angina, bro. Angina. angina like angina, angina, but angina. Okay, so like mangina or angina. Well, but angina. angina. If you can say mangina, if you can say vagina, you can say angina. Bro. Angina. So then this does this also cause heart attacks or is that a, is that a difference? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So initially this happens, right? You have this plaque buildup and you get ischemia, you get angina. If the person continues, so Lloyd Banks, he was saying, I was thinking of getting fat Joe clapped. Well, why? When he's a cheeseburger away from a heart attack. That means that if he continues to eat cheeseburgers, one mm. cheeseburger may, may do it and may obstruct the flow because now the blood cells are going to get plugged up as well. So you have a bunch of yellow stuff, a bunch of red stuff. And uh, because of the, um, because the blood cells get clumped up and now you have a blood clot. So how does a, a complete obstruction of the coronary artery. So can any blood, Get to the heart cells, bro. No, it would just, uh, it would just like clog up right there. Would, would clog the, up. Would and then the it, artery uh, expand since the blood's pushing? It, it can't. It cannot expand because it has this arterial and atherosclerosis or athero and arteriosclerosis. That's why this is a problem. So what ends up happening, bro, to the cells, to the tissues, when they have no oxygen for a prolonged period of time? What was that? I'm sorry. What happens to the heart cells when they lack oxygen for a long period of time? They start to turn blue, don't they? They well, your tissues turn blue, but what happens to any tissue? What happens to the heart cells? They you just said die. it starts to die, and now you develop necrosis, and that's what this black dot represents. Necrosis is the the death of the tissue, and so imagine the heart right here. You have a little necrosis right there. The longer you wait to fix this the more heart muscle damage you're going to have. Mm -hmm. And eventually when you have a damage that's so profound, so significant, now you have a large portion of, let's say a ventricle that cannot pump because it's dead and you're going to die. You're going to go into heart failure and you're going to die. Does that make sense, bro? Right. This is why um, this is a problem for these patients. Any questions on that so far? So do they bypass that with also surgery? Do they, do they clear that black stuff? Yes, sir. Can, can I clear this out? It will, they clear out the black stuff and they clear out the yellow stuff too? The plaque buildup, which is the uh, yellow stuff only. The black thing that I'm showing you is death of the tissue. You can't clear death tissue unless you remove it. My point okay. is this. Once that tissue is dead, there's a problem because that tissue is supposed to be pumping. It's supposed to be perfusing blood throughout the body, but now it's not doing it. Does then, that make does that affect the other tissues as well? So is it like, um, how do I say it is? Go ahead. Is it contaminated? Like uh, yeah, you have a lot of waste. Check this out, bro. Check this out. I'm glad you brought that up. That's the waste, right? So when these blood cells die, think of a little spirit leaves into the blood vessels. And mm -hmm. that's what gives you what you call your cardiac enzymes. Write that down, bro. So that one, that black stuff, the one that leaves, that's what cardiac enzymes. The the black stuff that I'm drawing on the board, on the on the whiteboard, yeah, that represents the substances 
that are being released from the cardiomyocytes when they die. When cardiomyocytes die, they release a substance into the bloodstream, and those are called cardiac enzymes. And that's very important, bro, because that distinguishes angina from a heart attack, from a myocardial infarction. Because if you have a heart attack, you have death of the tissue, right? Correct. So but if you only have angina, you only have ischemia. I mean, it's just lack of oxygen, but they're still receiving some, just not enough. What was that? I'm sorry. When the patient has angina, uh -huh. they're just deprived of oxygen. They're, they're, they're having ischemia, but they're having, but the tissue's not dead yet. There's no necrosis yet because they're still receiving some type of blood. Some but as the oxygen. Uh, so yeah, some type of oxygen in the blood. But as the continue as the issue gets worse, as the cardiac demand increases, let me write that down right here. As the cardiac demand increases, what that means is as you become more physically active, the heart muscles need more oxygen, correct? Correct. So if you start running up a hill, bro, how much oxygen does your heart need? The heart muscles, the cardiomyocytes. It needs a lot since you're pumping. It needs a lot. So, yeah, that's what I mean by cardiac demand. That means that the heart is now working harder to pump so you can run. So that means that the cells need more oxygen as well. And that's why people that have atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis of the coronary arteries, they develop chest pain, angina when they become physically active. Does that make sense? One more time, I'm sorry. People that have atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis, they develop chest pain, angina, when they become physically active. So people that have already have the plaque inside their blood, the vessels, uh, born in artery. Yeah. So and then what has happened after? Well, when you become physically active, like you said, your uncle, right? Your uncle was back in, 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 in Fiji and then he went to India to get the surgery, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened with your uncle was that every time he became physically active, what uh -huh. did his heart muscles need more of? Oxygen. That's right. But because you had this problem of atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, both of those issues, right? Uh -huh. can, the, can the blood vessels, can the coronary arteries deliver enough blood supply to the heart muscles, to the cardiomyocytes? No, it's, it's, uh, it's blocked. That's right. And so what happens when you don't have enough blood to the tissues? You start to, uh, like starts to turn blue or like you start to feel fatigue don't you okay have well, chest pain there you go chest pain specific right yeah you develop chest pain what's that called uh angina angina right and so that's what happened but your uncle the reason why he had to go to the doctor was because they did a procedure where they noticed that his coronary arteries were damn near plugged up a hundred percent so they knew that a heart attack a myocardial infarction was imminent, meaning it was about to happen. So they had to go to the to India, to the motherland, so they can do a surgical procedure to fix that issue. And that's what I'm about to talk about right now. But I'm providing you with the foundation because you will not, you're not going to be able to understand the full principles of of PTCA, which I'll discuss in just a bit, unless you until you understand this problem. Now you already told me the solution. How do we? You ask me, can we get rid of that fluid? Can we get rid of that plaque excuse? Yeah, we can. Now, can I clear this out so I can continue to show you what it means? Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool, bro. So this is what we have to do when you have.